Oh, that's a great goal. Legend has it that one day, a new king will come. Oh, that's a great goal. What song did you sing for your Phoenix initiation? Uh, reggae. You have to forget all the teaching of the surface world. Yeah, buddy. Someone on Twitter said, Zwei, have a fictional conversation with Roy Krishna and you're sort of like New Zealand, Australia slang and like everything that you picked up. All right, here we go. Sup, Zwei, bro? How's it going, cunt? Did you just get back from Australia? Yeah, I just got back from Perth, mate. Tell you one thing, mate. <laughs> Sick, cunt. Me and my mates, we went to this place outside of Perth and it was a paddock full of cows, mate. Full of freaking horses and cows. And we just had lemmingtons all night. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner brew, we just had lemmingtons. Lemmingtons are from New Zealand, mate. Mate, we had pingers with a Game Boy Color, and then we had a Macus so it could kick on. All right, that's it. Never, ever, ever doing an Australia, New Zealand accent again. But boss up, big boys, and welcome to the Roy Krishna, the king of Fiji, the only Fiji player in Ultimate Team. Let me repeat that. He's the only Fiji player in Ultimate Team. You guys know I have the series called Best of the Rest that I do during the dead period of FIFA where we feature, regardless of whether they're a gold player, which is very unlikely, regardless whether they're a silver or they're a bronze, that features the only player from their nation in Ultimate Team. And Roy Krishna, as a Fijian, as a Fiji man, as Aquaman, that's how we're gonna theme this, we're gonna call him Aquaman, is the only player from Fiji in Ultimate Team. He ships as a 72 silver. Uh, this 82 card is a 300 135 total in-game stat upgrade over that 72. He also has a 79 rated, uh, he also has a 79 rated gold inform card. This is a 103 total in-game stat upgrade over that particular card. Now, uh, Roy Krishna might just be the best 82 rated inform that we have in Ultimate Team, uh, at least in FIFA 19. If you take a look at a couple of his stats, we put the sniper chem stall on him. You can see he's got 89 jumping. Let's take a look at his height. 5'7". Okay, so he's a little on the short side. Has the four-star weak foot. High medium work rate is perfect. Right footed. For me, that's perfect. I'm trying to start this movement that doesn't uh, that doesn't ostracize three-star, three-star players. You know, like I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the Ante Rebic. I'm looking at the 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 Yusuf Polson. I was about to say Leonard Polson. I think he's a boxer. But uh, I I, I want to get a movement going where if you have two strikers, have one of them be the four-star skill move, five-star weak foot like King Kai or a four-star, four-star. And then opposite, if the guy is good enough stats, don't feel bad about using a player that has three-star, three-star. But obviously, if you have a guy that's four-star, four-star or has five-star in any of those uh, weak foot or skill move categories, it obviously is a bonus. So. Let's go back to his stats, okay? So he's got 82 finishing. We're going to boost that plus 15 with the sniper. He's got 92 shot power, 83 long shots. He's got volleys. He's got penalties. Everything is pretty much 82 plus. Uh, passing stats are even very passable. But more importantly, you guys know that we love the body feint. We've used the sniper chem style to improve his agility up to 99. He goes up to 99 balance, 99 agility. He's got pretty decent ball control, pretty decent uh, dribbling. Not elite standard by any means, but above average, I would say, with, especially with the sniper chem style. And then 83 stamina, 83 strength, and then 89 jumping and 83 aggression. It's just a very 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. We glanced over that one, but uh, just very, very good stats for an 82 rated card, and I'm expecting quite a bit. Uh, given that he's 15,000 coins, I can already tell you he's probably going to be a thumbs up. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say that because I want to see what his ratio looks like at the end of the uh, at the end of the game. So we're going to see how he plays there. However, he might not be the best player that we're featuring, and he might not even be the reason that I want to feature this squad. The reason I want to feature this squad is the fact that the A-League SPC, which only requires 10 teams and is one of the cheapest ones to do, has this guy. A Greek transplant, Dimitri Petratos, because that's obviously not an Australian name. A lot of Australian players that don't have Australian names. A lot of players in an Ultimate Team that are from a nation that don't have a nation. Just shut up, Clay. 84 rated. And again, it only takes 10 uh, leagues to complete. So if you're looking at it from a time valuation standpoint, literally... Uh, there's leagues that obviously have 18 or 20 teams. It's gonna be it's literally half the amount of time that you have to spend to complete this SBC and you get this card 94 shot power 92 long shots Look at those shooting stats. Look at the dribbling stats. The 96, uh, the 96 agility obviously goes up to 99. It's a big deal for me, but 92 stamina 82 strength This is a very very nice looking card Super sub-esque because the A-League obviously is one of the legitimately weaker leagues in terms of FIFA performance. We love it as a league in real life. It's very, very fun. Um, the commentary is absolutely mad. But uh, get to put together some really, really fun squads. For a long time, I've wanted an excuse to use a foot swap item in a card. And Wellington Phoenix, uh, what's his name? Lewis Fenton with the four-star weak foot. Actually, not a half. Yeah, he's horrible. Worst player at the Phoenix. 
Louis Fenton. Where do you even go to see stats for the Australian League? Is it, it do, who score doesn't have it? All right, so Roy Krishna is the top goal scorer. He's got 26 appearances, uh, 18 goals. Anyone else? Wellington, uh, David Williams. This guy is currently uh, fifth. No, he's tied for sixth on the goal scoring charts with 11 goals in 26 matches played. Oli Toivonen, who plays as center back for Melbourne Victor. For Melbourne, you hear me, can't. Uh, Oli Toivonen, who I think is a center back in, in FIFA, has 13 goals somehow. Andy Keogh, I remember him. Adam Lafondre. I'm going to adjust my tactics here, but if you guys are enjoying these sort of lower rated Hidden Gem Squad episode as per usual, drop a like on the video. You guys have been crushing it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to adjust our tactics here. We're going to we're gonna adjust our tactics here. We're going to get in game one with Roy Krishna, a.k.a. the King of Fiji, a.k.a. Aquaman. Match number one, Los Kids. Wait, David Williams has a... As a man bun? That's kind of sick. One does not simply injure Aquaman brute. Oh, what are gonna be mounted from that hit? You know this episode isn't a ripoff when I concede first. Do we have a shot on target? We've got one shot on target. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, Roy Krishna! The Agility Masterclass! Let's go for a close-up. We haven't done one of these in a while. The Agility Masterclass. Roy Krishna gets himself a goal in the 51st minute, and we absolutely beast up with him as Diddy Chris Lito would say. By the way, shout out my American bros. Uh, Alan, um, Diddy, and then who else? There was another guy. Bro, the Agility's just nuts. Not a great finish, to be honest, because it hit the keeper's hand. It should have been cleaner than that. You look for a moment in a match to inspire you to to push on. And that might be it, boys. Is that shot power? His Referee. face, neck, and spinal cord are gonna be mounted from that hit. Someone, please, 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 please explain to me how that's not a pen, dude. Meanwhile, over at the soccer. The oh, another brutal hit. You gotta be hit. kidding me. Kidding me? How is that not a pen? That was our game winner. That's literally why you have a Roy Krishna. I was about to say Harry Krishna. The A servers are unable to process your request. What? We exhibited the magic of Roy Krishna, but you know, we, we, we saw, by and large, the guys didn't play well, didn't play great up top. I feel like we probably should have gotten that pen result, probably would have missed it anyway, but that would have changed everything. What we're going to do is we're going to take off Williams because he is a little bit of a liability. I'm not going to lie. If there's one guy that really felt weak in this squad, it is that Williams card. So what we're going to do is we are going to take him off and uh, you know what? I think we're going to bring on Fernando Torres and then Florenzi for Fenton. Conspiracy theory. Um, La Croqueta... Well, I, I wouldn't know specifically about La Croqueta, but body feints are so OP that if that's a common occurrence, do the refs not always give pens because it could be exploited? Petra Toast with the distance shooting. You, you wait a match and a half for his magic to turn on and Aquaman arises uh, Aquaman arrives at the perfect time the Champions League bicycle kick was that the send in from Petrotos and that's what he's got we're not lighting it up by any means we've got two games two goals with Krishna at least he's scoring right but uh, the one thing I will say about his card does he feel like he's exceeding his player rating now the 83 stamina is fine the composure 71, the 82 finishing, I feel like that's probably the big letdown. He has the weak foot, right? So he's got the weak foot. He can play on. A, he can either play left striker or right striker. That's not a big deal. But I was hoping the shot power was going to maybe come in and replace a little bit of that. Uh, the shot power was going to come in and negate a little bit of the finishing. And then I, th I thought maybe the composure wasn't going to be as bad. But two games, 
two goals. Not a great ratio. Let's go into a third and final match here. Let's see if maybe there's a little bit of Harry Krishna magic. We we lose one, which I feel like we should have won. Again, the agility is there. We probably should have drawn that foul. Uh, should have drawn that pen. And then in match number two, he scores the only goal. Uh, it was a 1-0 affair, scoring the only goal in the entire match. And it was... Definitely the goal of the epi so far. Let's see if there's a little bit of magic behind this card. Let's see if Roy Krishna... Come on, Aquaman. Let's see what you got. A 187 rated squad. The lowest rated squad that we've come up against so far, I think. FC Pichatos, Alemania Simi. So Alemania means Germany. What does Simi mean? Is Simi Portuguese? What's the dilly of you? Hey! Oh, David Williams! Toss. Referee, that's a red. Sure, that's that's got to be a straight red. Lala, not a guy in front of him. Clear through on net, and that's going to be a straight red. Come on, dude. I'm going to go ahead and say, is, is he a guy that's weekend league ready? I would say for sure not. This guy, if, if you come up against a god squad, there, there's no chance that he can that he can flourish. Oh, that's a Roy great Krishna! Goal. 70th minute, and that is what he got. He might not score you a hat trick in one match, but he can score you a hat trick in three. So a goal in the first match that sees us get a loss, and then right there he shows you what he's got in terms of quality with distance shooting, and uh, puts us up 1 0 in the 69th minute. Come on! Ah, that's how you want to use him. Three matches played, three goals with Roy Krishna, and my final thoughts on him, 82 in form, and that is ex that's sort of exactly what he feels like. He's got a, a, a couple specialty traits in terms of agility, shot power, but the finishing and composure sometimes gets the best of him. So, uh, like I said, nine shots, seven on target, nine shots, five on target for him. A very... A, a good three games from him. I wouldn't say incredible. Things could have gone differently had maybe two or three of those pen calls that I feel like should have been called gone differently. We could be looking at maybe five or six goals, but three goals in three matches played and sort of played at his player level. I'm still going to have to give him, because he's 15,000 coins, I'm going to have to give him a thumbs up with a caveat that he is not weekend league ready. You're not going to want to play... Uh, up in division number one or, or division number two with this card. Petratos, I was a little bit disappointed that uh, in three matches, he only got one assist, didn't score one goal. We took a few distance bangers with him, just was not able to convert. So there you have it, boys. Three goals, uh, sorry, three games, three goals played with Roy Krishna, a.k.a. Waterman, a.k.a. the King of Fiji. It was very fun playing with him, but again, uh, expected a little bit more than we got back in return. But maybe you guys will have better luck with him. But that's going to do it for a lesser rated you know 82 inform just a fun card to use this is not someone you want to take into weekend league but just a very very fun card to use and again i don't know what it is about the coding with pens but we should have had at least two or three pens go our way and i feel like that ratio could easily read six and three but that is going to do it boys hopefully you guys have enjoyed a little bit different of an epi because it's a, a lower rated card not a promo card or anything just from this from this team of the week and the only player representing fiji and ultimate team so my fijians out there if you're from fiji don't know how to say let's go in Fiji. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a cheeky like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.